feet. I don't like wearing hats. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Hair Experience. I'm Curtis, your guy. Let's get banging, bopping, bopping. It's not bopping, it's popping. Beautiful hair back on your head, and you can throw these hats in the trash. Anyways, subscribe below if you want to. Hit the thumbs up button if you want to. I'd appreciate it. Um, HairbyMHE.com. Supplies, clear bond, white bond, starter kits, ebooks. Everything is on there. Um, hair units. You guys know lace is being a nightmare. Um, probably your thing's coming in okay. Uh, we do have some in stock. Um, hit me up if you need anything, myhairexperience.com or um, hairbymhg.com, whatever. Get to it. That's what pays the bills. I have to pay the bills to stay in this business to be able to help people. So today I wanted to talk about something that I think we all deal with. Um, I don't care if you've got great a great scalp or not, but it's dandruff. So I'm trying to make it fluff, you know, come up or whatever, but it... I find that whenever I go to put my tape on, even after I've cleaned my scalp, um, the first go at the tape doesn't want to stick all that well. The tape wants to come up, and I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out why. I couldn't figure out why. Um, it's because of the dead skin that's on top of the surface of your head um, that you're not getting off. So whenever I put the tape on and I go to pull the other strip off, it sometimes probably half the time, would take the piece of tape off with it. And I'm like, what the F is going on? Um, the problem is, is that dead skin. You have to exfoliate that scalp to get a good, smooth part that doesn't have dead skin on it. Because when I put the second piece of tape on, it had taken the dead skin off and then the tape stuck. I was like, what the heck is going on? So I figured out a way to get around that. This, this thing, guys, it's just a, a plastic boar's hair brush that's made for beards. I use it for my beard. This is also the key to get that hair out of that hairline whenever you put your hairline down and there's hair stuck to your head because you went too far with the glue. Just kind of brush it away. This thing's fantastic. But what I do with this, and you don't want to irritate your scalp. You know, people have sensitive skin and stuff like that, but this shouldn't do it. That's why I'm kind of like adamant about telling you about this is because if you use things like exfoliators and stuff like that, it might irritate your scalp. This might too, but just tread lightly. So, I mean, this is going to be a super short video. Um... All I do with this is just kind of brush the area. And I don't know if you can see the, the dandruff falling off and it feels really nice too. It's obviously going to probably inflame the area a little bit. That's okay. I usually do this after I've cut my hair, you know, trimmed my hair down or whatever. Um, I just wanted to do it to be able to show you while I was at this step in the process. So super short video, I, that's all I got. Guys, you can get these things at Walmart or Target or CVS or whatever. They're probably two bucks. Um, definitely something to have in your arsenal. And I've talked about this thing before in the past, but it was only for that hairline stuff to get those hairs out that are stuck. Um, so get you one of these. You can use the exfoliation method if you want to, but it takes a while. And you got to sit there and put it on there and the mask and all that other stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's what I got, guys. That's it. Super short video. Have a good weekend. It's Saturday right now. I'll probably post this tomorrow, but I hope you guys had a great weekend. And always, first and foremost, I am grateful for the opportunity to be in business for you guys. And thank you for my loyal customers and my customers and my future customers. It's a big deal to me and my family. This is what feeds my family. So um, that's what I got today, guys. Hit me up if you need anything. Curtis, out. See ya.